in Nigeria, Nigeria police arrest humanist leader Mubarak Bala for alleged blasphemy. Mubarak Bala, president of the Humanist Association of Nigeria, who was previously forced into a mental hospital in 2014 for being an atheist, has been arrested for the crime of blasphemy for reportedly saying that the Prophet Muhammad was a terrorist. Nigeria's constitution does guarantee freedom of religion and expression, yet its courts are becoming increasingly aligned with Sharia law in Sharia courts. Um, so you guys give your thoughts while I post some more information about how people can help in the chat. Well, I don't understand how this can happen. Like you're saying in constitution, they allow uh, freedom of expression and yet he's arrested. Like, how is that? Like, how does that work? Um, so, I'll, okay, I'll go to my notes. So he was arrested due to a position petition that was presented to legal authorities. And this a, a petition was signed by like 16,000 people demanding his arrest. Mm. And so here's some information. The petition reads in part, he has been writing stuffs on this Facebook page that are provo provocative and annoying to the Muslims. Among such stuff is calling the prophet of, Muhammad, the prophet of Islam, Muhammad, all sorts of denigrating names like pedophile terrorist, among other statements that will definitely incite Muslims and provoke them to take law into their own hands, which may ultimately result to public disturbance and the breach of, pe the breach of peace. Um... So I thought that was a really telling thing to write in the petition itself, saying you guys need to arrest this man because if you don't arrest them, other other people are going to go and fuck him up, and that's why you need to go arrest him. It's like a weird blame the victim mentality. Um, so there was a part of this petition that said... Um, and as much as the said Mubarak Bala has the right to profess any religion he so desires and express himself, the Muslims too have equal right to profess their religion, um, ellipses. And this is exactly the import of section 210 of the penal code of Kano State, which provides as follows, quote, whoever by any means publicly insults or speaks to incite contempt of any religion in such a manner shall be punished with imprisonment for a term which may extend to two years or a fine or both. Wait, so, um, they, have so they do have blasphemy laws? Yes, it's just like tricky. So they also said in this petition, um, he, the petition reads that his characterization of Muhammad as a terrorist also follows that his followers are terrorists and that he should be arrested under the Cyber Crimes Act of 20, 2015 for racism and xenophobia. So given that the Constitution allows freedom of expression, does, their Constitution, right? Um, does he, like, can, that, can this all be challenged, like, legally? Hopefully. Um, so do you want me to give a status on his update as of today? Yeah. So by the way, yeah, he, he follows me on Twitter. He, I messaged him, but I don't think he has access to his Twitter right now. It's Mubarak Bella. I asked him how, let me see actually if he responded. Um, uh, I'm going to wager that he hasn't because people have yeah. not heard of his whereabouts for over 72 hours. There right. is, um, a report from another activist in Nigeria called Leo Igwe, who says there are reports that Mubarak, Mubarak is being beaten and tortured while in detention. There are also concerns over the state of his health, especially with the outbreak in the state of Kano. Um, there has been no independent confirmation that he is alive and well, and mm. there's no confirmation that he is not being mistreated. Um, so far, he has been seemingly refused the opportunity to speak with his lawyers or any legal representation. Mm. And the scary thing is that previously he was in a different area. And then now he's in the more northern area of Kano, which is much more conservative and where the implementation of Sharia interpretations of the law are much more likely. And again, he's not been granted access to lawyers. So, Jeez. um, 
there is a lot that we can do to help this. Um, so earlier on the YouTube chat, I posted a link to the International Association of Atheists, um, who they are doing a lot of work to rally for him, but I'm also gonna post, I just did something that you can Google to find all this information. Um, so if you could pull that comment up, yeah, just yeah. Google International Association of Atheists Mubarak Bala. And they, this is the number one place I found to find the best updates on his case. You mm. can also follow at godless underscore mom or Courtney Hurd. She's giving constant updates every day. And um, if you Google this association, they have all the information you need. There's a petition to sign to demand his freedom. There is a donation campaign for his legal defense. There is information on um, different, if you have a Nigerian embassy in your country, to information on where to write to them to demand mm -hmm. his release. There is also, as of today, because it's been three days since anyone's heard of him and people are worried if he's been killed or not, um, they are now posting information on which leaders and police stations you can go call to, um, yeah, demand his release. This needs to backfire. This needs, we need to like embarrass Nigeria for doing this. Like the fact that there was a petition, does this mean there's a lot of like popular demand for this arrest in Nigeria? Like, is this more of a government problem or do we have any understanding of whether people uh, support this in Nigeria or not? Well, based on my browsing of Twitter over the past couple of days, there are, I mean, again, that's very anecdotal. Let me stress right. that. Um, but I have noticed a lot of support for this arrest. And in fact, I saw multiple people posting pictures of themselves straight up their face going, I want you to know what my face looks like, because if he's let free for this, I'm going to go kill him. And one of those people, I believe, was involved in law enforcement. Um, are you serious? I'm serious. Wow. Um, yeah, you can go Google it. People are writing articles about that. So, yeah, no, mm. there is a lot of popular support for this. People calling him an animal, saying he deserves this. That, yeah, if the state doesn't kill him, they will, basically. Um. Okay, so by the way, can you tell um, the person that edits our videos, I'm not going to mention her name because she's not in a safe spot, but can you let her know to get this section out earlier because, and Beach is mentioning as well, because guys, uh, please share this video and share the things that Susanna mentioned because we need to, we need to act. Um, but I don't, so what what else can people do? Can they just is just sign the petition? What else can they, can be done? Like I said, you can sign the petition. You can donate to his legal fund. You mm. can um, write to your and, local Nigerian embassy. You can mm. call your embassy. Just put pressure on them to let them know that there are people around the world watching. And now, like I said, the International mm. Association of Atheists has now, as of a couple of hours ago posted right. detailed information on all the different Nigerian authorities that you can call. And they even provided a script to mm. demand his release and to inform them that there is a global audience watching this case. Can we also make a show um, on, you know, because a lot of people don't pay attention. We were just like, hey, look, this person is in trouble. They need to be like lured into paying attention. So I was thinking of making a, uh, YouTube video on you know interviewing somebody from Nigeria about atheism in Nigeria, and then mention this case. And that do you guys know anybody like in any activist in um, Nigeria or a Nigerian activ uh, activist that is not in Nigeria that we could bring on the show and talk to them so they could educate us? Because I wanted to do this for a long time. Nigeria is a very important place that we need to focus on a lot this is a huge growing community of atheists there and it seems like they're going to have based on this case it seems like they, as as they grow they're going to have a difficult time we need to make sure this backfires to make it easier for what's about to come in nigeria like we need to set a precedent that this is not just going to go unheard so if you guys know like let's if you guys well, have any yeah go ahead. 
I would say that you should talk to Courtney Hurd. She seems mm. to, Godless Mom, she seems to have the most up-to-date on-the-ground information, many connections there. And they did mention someone named an activist who also seems to be involved with the Humanist Society, Leo Igwe. Um, he was giving on the ground information. So maybe she would have information about how to get in touch with him. Okay. Um, I think I think yeah, we, yeah. we like had a Nigerian atheist a few weeks ago in the live chats, but I don't remember exactly when. Um, okay, so yeah okay so guys if you watching this later uh, please uh, if you have any suggestions for us as you know an atheist republic uh, we're trying to bring attention to the people that are doing the most about this but if you have any recommendations on who to talk to and who to highlight please leave a comment um and you know after this live stream is over so that we could follow up uh be just saying leo igui is a firebrand good to try good to contact him okay i'm gonna look into that um all right thank you guys okay let's go to the should, do you guys want to add anything before we go to the next news um no, no. i mean i do want to add you know right now when this case he was arrested on the 28th so the time to act is right now Okay. You know, we have the most chance of affecting change as soon as possible. We don't want mm. it to get to the point where he's already been in prison for years. So and now it's all eyes on Mubarak. And, yeah, we need to raise awareness. Hmm. Okay. News. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, What has? what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel... Why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button. But nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well and share, share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized. That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that, but we don't care about that anymore, <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritize. What does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right and all that, you know, on the, on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. 